Hi guys, this is Emily from Novel Novels and welcome to today's video. This is my red versus unread books. So I'm going to be showing you these bookshelves and the ones downstairs and I'm going to be counting up how many red books I've got and how many unread books I've got per shelf. I've got I think 15 bookshelves to do. So what I'll do is I'm going to do it in clip format so I will show you each shelf one by one and tell you how many books I've got read and how many books are unread and I will show you I'll pick out an unread book that you, to see if you guys think I should read it sooner and show you a, a read book that I thoroughly recommend. So this is a different style of video to normal because it's a bit of a bookshelf tour. Now there is one shelf that is got the books that I am my TBR shelf book so that's got books I'm reading this month and books that I'm going to be reading next month. Now, I don't want to show you the books I'm going to be reading next month, so I will do a quick clip on the books that I've got left to read, which will probably have read that by the time this comes up, but hey, just to give you an idea, and let's show you. So I'm going to go and count. I will tell you straight away that, sorry to be rude, this bookshelf up here, that one there, this, some of these books are borrowed books from the library, some of these books are read, and I'm just trying to look at how I can clip that, ball map of that, I've Get you me out of that. I've also got my PCR thingies on there, so I shouldn't have shown you that. But they are I've got those books on that side are the ones that I've done for the try a chapter tag, and they are the ones that need to be read. And those, as you can see, the books on that shelf there are the ones that are a lot of those books. Seven books there are the books that I've read. They're Charlie's for AKA Charlie's Heathcote's books, so I will link his channel below so you can buy them because I thoroughly recommend you buy them. And that's it. And the, on the other side is books that I've borrowed from my sisters or from the library. Anyway, that's enough for this clip. And I'll count this first shelf now. See you in a minute. Bye bye. So guys, this is bookshelf number one. I'm trying to think of a clip how to show you that. That's that top shelf there. And that's my classics. And looking at my figures, I've got 33 unread and seven and 19 read. So that's not too bad. That's the classic shelves. You're probably going to see more red. And the book I'm recommending from that shelf is Little Women because it's one of my favourite books. A book I'm looking forward to getting to is The Mayor of Casterbridge by Thomas Hardy. Now, my lovely friend Tori from the Hufflepuff Discovery recommended Hardy. And next year, I'm going to be trying to read as many Hardy books as I can. It's my, my Hardy book, Hardy project next year. So... That's a little clip for this shelf, and now I'm going on to shelf number two. The unfortunate thing is, though, I've just broken my E, my little E, which has really made me sad. My little Harry Potter, my little Beatrix Potter E, so that's made me feel a bit sad this morning. So I'm going to do that, and then I'm going to do the second shelf. I'm going to do these shelves quickly before I go out to the Dutch fruit picking with my kids, and I'll do the next one I get back. See you in a minute. Bye. So this is a quick clip of this shelf before I do the counting because that's, I thought I'd do a quick clearer shelf. I've got my little models, I've got my little things, I've got all my little special things on this shelf. So that's before I do it because obviously when, in a minute I'm counting and it's going to get all messy. See you in a minute with the figures. Bye bye. So that was the second shelf. Oh, no, third shelf. I'm counting looking at this. My numbers for this are, where am I going to get organised? 33 unread, 23 read. Only slight problem is I've discovered I've got two copies of Lady Audley's Secret. So, if anyone wants a copy, let me know and I'll send it to you. I got one copy that I got gifted and I accidentally bought my second self another copy. That's a bit daft. This is why doing this is a good idea. So, the book I'm recommending from that shelf is Frenchman's Creek by Daphne du Maurier. I loved this book. It was one of my favourite. My favourite Daphne du Maurier is obviously Jade Maker Inn, but I want my own copy in this style. And I love this. Brilliant. I read it, read it this year and I loved it book I'm looking forward to getting to is The Way We Live Now by Anthony Trollope, which I believe was gifted to me. I can't see the gift thingy, but I think it was like gifted to me either by Gemma or... I think it was like gifted to me by Gemma by Reader from Reader Book Gem, and it's one I'll be buddy reading with lovely Charlie from Charles Heathcote. Anyway, let's get on. I will quickly count the number of books on my unread shelf, on my TBR jar shelf, and I'll see you all soon. Bye-bye. So this is a little clip from this shelf. These are the books I've got to read at the end of the month. The last one is one that I'm buddy reading with the lovely, the lovely Laura from Book Bubbler. 
and the other ones I will be buddy reading as well. This is a very short clip on that shelf. And now I'm going down onto this Tudor shelf here. And I've got three more shelves to quickly film because I'm going out. So I'm just going to count that shelf next, okay? See you in a minute. So from the Tudor shelf, I've got 28 unread, seven read. The book that I read that I'm recommending is the Catherine Parr, the latest Tudor book. This is my gorgeous proof copy that I got sent by Tandem for a read song, read along. And it's the most recent in the Alison Weir Tudor Queen's books. And the book that I want to get to, the one that's intimidating the hell out of me, is Wolf Hall by Hilary Mantel. I think I'm going to wait, get the last of the book, because I'm going to get the, last, the most recent book for this, and then read the whole series next year. It's, one of my, it's my reading goal. But that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to wait till next year and get the last one, and then I'm going to read the whole Set Myself a Series Challenge. So, I will now show you, I will show you in the next clip the next shelf, which is my random historical fiction shelf and then the bottom shelf is my wartime historical fiction shelf okay let's go so this is a quick clip of that shelf and then so obviously the counting this one's going to be really hard because it's double stacked and then just before i do in here so i will show you that bottom shelf so i don't have to count that okay count these in a minute right you guys i thought i'd film down here i have got on that shelf there i've got 33 unread and only nine red. Oh, I need to get on with that shelf, don't I? I don't tend to keep very many books on that shelf because it's quite a small shelf. The book that I'm recommending is The Girl with the Pearl Earring by Tracy Chevalier. Read this last year and loved it. The one I'm wanting to read and I'm one I'm excited about is The Glass House by Eva Chase. Eve Chase that I got sent for my birthday present by the lovely Becca from Becca's Bookshelves and I can't wait to get to that. Let's see how I do. Now the bottom shelf and then I'm going to have to and take those kids out. Keep saying it, but I will remind myself. I have to realise my makeup's not blended in brilliantly. Hey ho, you love me as I am. So let's get on and cut this blue and wartime shelf. Now this one is my probably my biggest shelf. As you can see, it's very big. Very big, ignore my legs. <laughs> and I'll see you all in a minute. Bye bye. Okay, so this is going to be a quick clip because I'm getting dragged out. The bottom shelf, I've got 47 unread and only nine read. But again, that's my biggest shelf because I've got the most room on it. And I don't tend to keep as many. The book I'm desperate to read is City of Girls. I can't wait. I won that in a won that last year. And the book I'm recommending is The Paris Library by Janet Skillane Charles, which I got sent by Tandem and I loved it. I don't I shouldn't be recommending all my tandem books all the time. But that's one I thoroughly recommend. It's got dual timelines, brilliant characters, and thoroughly loved it. So the rest of the clips are gonna be the ones down halfway down the stairs, and I'll film that a bit later. Bye bye. Hi guys, so we are now halfway down the stairs and we're going to film the, the bookshelf tour down here. So we have this top shelf here, that's going to be mainly unread books because it's obviously the ones I'm using for display. But I've got some read and then we'll go down to my middle grade shelf. And then I'm just thinking how I'm going to show you this. And then we've got the YA shelf, the middle grade shelf, the YA shelf. And then right down the bottom is my thrillers and thingy, but you can't really see that very well. So I will do that shortly. I've just realised that I went at the wrong angle. So I'll show you those shortly. And let's see how we do. Next ones over there are the contemporary shelves. That's like my cheeky litty contemporary. So I've got one, two, three shelves down there. And then the bottom one is my books that I've read that are waiting to go into my, my wrap-up video. Or some random books that I couldn't find place for. So we'll just see how it goes. Anyway, let's get started. I'm going to count this shelf here next and see how we go. I'll show you in a minute. Bye bye. So guys, that was a very quick count. It is 28 unread, which is what I was expecting, and 10 read. Kind of higher read than I thought I would be. The unread book that I want to show you that I want to read is yours cheerfully, which you will see a sneaky peek before the haul video that I'm going to be filming at the end of the month. My sister Charlie bought me this as a Cheer me up like we're gonna we were doing San Christmas in July, but I kind of count it on my August figures because I got it the day before. But anyway, it's the latest book by AJ Pierce. It's a, the sequel to Dear Mrs. Bird, which I loved, and it look at this gorgeous copy. It's absolutely beautiful. So that's the book I want to read. And the book that I'm recommending to people is Book Love by Debbie Tang. I know it's been all over book two, but I loved it and it's one of my favourite books. So next shot is gonna be the middle grade books. Let's go for them. See you in a minute. So just a quick one. This is the middle grey shelf. And then I'll show you while I'm doing it. My YA shelf. 
And there's my non-fiction and, and thriller shelf. Let's count these ones. There's going to be a lot more red on these ones, I think. So here we go. So guys, that one is actually one of my top books that I've actually got red books. I've got 45 red, 25 unread. Yay! That's a success. The book that I want to read is going to be The Tangle of Spells, which is my the third in the series that I've got from Michelle McGorian. Loving this series. And the book that I'm recommending to you guys is The Secret of Bird and Bones, which I read by Kieran Mill with Hargreaves. Brilliant book. Thoroughly, thoroughly loved it. One of my favourite middle grade books. And I've just realised that considering that's a, yet another tandem book, but I don't want to recommend that then. I'm going to recommend Wonder by RJ Palacio. I got this because the lovely Chloe from Chloe Reads Books recommended it. And this is one that I liked. So definitely recommend it. Very hard hitting and will make you cry though. So let's get onto my YA shelf. So my YA shelf is pretty even actually. It's 34 unread, 27 read. The book I want to read is The Gilded Ones by Naomi Forda. This has had really mixed reviews. So I think I'm going to put this on either my October or November TBR because it's had really mixed reviews and I'm looking forward to finding out whether it's good or bad. And the ones I'm going to recommend is not what you think. I'm going to recommend The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo because I think it's up there with one of my favourite books of the year so far. Loved it. Okay, let's go on to the non-fiction and... Non-fiction and thriller. Let's have a go. See you in a minute. Okay, so this is a bit of a massive unread. 53 unread and only 5 read. But that is thriller and I don't keep my thrillers. And this is thriller and non-fiction. I very rarely ever keep my non-fiction as well. The one I'm recommending is Turn of the Key by Ruth Ware. It's my favourite out of Ruth Ware's books. Uh, she's been a bit hit and miss on a lot of them. But I love this one. The one I'm looking forward to reading is a guest list by Lucy Foley. I'll be able to be reading this with the lovely Chloe from Chloe Reads books soon. So I'm looking forward to reading that together. So this is a little quick one for that shelf because it's got all my thrillers. I've got stacks of thrillers and quite a few non-fiction. So I now just need to put all that away. And yeah, I think I'm going to do the, my random shelf next and then work my way up. So here we go. Let's go start that in a minute. Bye bye. So I thought I'd give you a little tour of this. You obviously already had my contemporary bookshelf tour, but this has got my books that are read. And they'll be on the first wrap up, which you would have already seen by now. That's some of my randoms that I need to find a place for. Then I've got this shelf, which is contemporary, then that one, and then that one. So this is the bottom one is the one I'm doing next. And I'll see you all in a minute with that. So as I expected, the red is more than the unreads on this shelf, which is quite common. I've got 16 red and only six unread the unread book that the, the red book that i'm recommending is actually ag brown which is the last book in that series and i thoroughly loved it the book that i want to read is this one i picked this up for a charity shop ages ago caro plat plain song it is mahusive it is i think about 400 pages so i'm going to try and get to that before the end of the year because it's one of my bigger books now let's get on to the contemporaries Oh, well, why am I, sorry about this. <laughs> so this one is 26 unread and 22 read. So that's pretty, again, pretty even, actually. I'm quite surprised by that. I do keep a fair few of my good contemporaries. The contemporary I recommend is The Patchwork Family by Kathy Bramley. If you want a feel-good family book, this is perfect. The book I want to read is Love After Love by Ingrid Perso. This has been all over booktube it's quite a new book out and it's one i'm really excited about and i'm buddy reading it with a fellow booktuber at the end of the year i think it's going to be buddy reading it with nikki from red dot reads i'll see you all soon let's go on to that shelf next we're nearly done so guys penultimate shelf is 34 unread 11 no 34 unread and 11 read the unread book i'm going to recommend is not obvious one to you guys and that's Get a Life, Chloe Brown. That's my favourite book of the year so far. Thoroughly love it. Got great chronic pain rep. First book in the Le Brown Girl series, and that's one I loved. And the one I want to read is this Mahooted one, Grown Ups by Marion Keys, which I got given by my lovely sister Charlie, and I can't wait to read it. And now I'm on to the last shelf. See you soon. Bye bye. Well, guys, this is the last shelf, and it's 27 unread books and four read. Again, that doesn't surprise me because I like to show off my unread books. The book I'm recommending is if The Minute I Saw You by Page Two, 
which I thoroughly loved. I love Paige Toon's books. Her book, her newest book out is one of my favourite books of the year so far. I'm trying to remember where I put that. Oh, yeah, it's down the bottom because it's not still on my unhook, my wrap up book. And the book that I want to read is a book I got last month, The Lucky Escape by Laura Jane Williams, because I loved her other books. So I wanted this and I can't wait to read it. The last clip will be once I've added up all the totals and found out how much, how I did. Let's have a look and I'll do a clip downstairs. Do a clip in a minute. Bye bye. Hi guys. So I just added up my totals and according to the start of my books this month, like according to what I've been adding up as I've been going along, like, I've got, I've got about 560 books unread. But according to this adding all up, I've got 433 books unread and 221 books read. How that's worked out, I don't know. But I think what I'm going to do is, on my when I, before I film my wrap up part two, I'm going to recalculate. I'm going to re. I'm going to go through every single book and just triple, triple check how many red books I've got because at the moment this is looking a bit weird. So I think I'm going to. I think what I might do is I might scrap is put today's figure on my in my calendar so like whatever or or i'm gonna actually no i'm not i'm not gonna do it on the first of september actually the 31st of august i'm gonna recalculate and double check it all again because according to this there's no way that could be like 560 books and now 433 that's like 130 books that have somehow been that i've added on somehow that i shouldn't have added on okay that's weird but yeah it's a lot better than i thought so i've got just a, what i've basically got is only got 211 books 212 books that are more red than un, the more unread than red so that's not as bad as i thought it was i'm really happy with that sorry about the shaky camera i'm gonna add this together do my clip and i'll see you all soon bye bye and I've just realised <laughs> I didn't say. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel and not subscribed yet, ring on my ding-a-ling. And I'll see you all soon. Bye-bye.